So can you imagine you're working for the fire department and somebody is rooting for Trump and booing Letitia James and this happens. Go ahead, Rob. They're booing her. As they should. Oh, come on. We're in a house of God. (laughs) First, um, simmer down. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for... They're chanting Trump. Good. Yeah. Trump. Can you yeah. imagine? That? So, so let me let me continue reading what happens here. So, the fire department is investigating <laughs> staffers who booed Letitia James and cheered for Trump during a promotion ceremony. With spokesperson Jim Long clarifying, nobody can you do you have the clip that says hunting them down or no? Nobody is hunting anyone down. It's about professionalism at an official event held in a house of worship. Uh, Fire Department New York Chief of Department John Hodgins emphasized the need for individuals involved to come forward voluntarily stating, I recommend they come forward. It will be better for them if they come forward and we don't have to hunt them down. That's what he said. We don't have to hunt them down. The incident occurred during a ceremony honoring the swearing in of the first African-American woman obtained of the uh, Fire Department New York, uh, Reverend Pamela Holmes. Uh, prompting James to address the crowd. Oh, come on. We're in the house of God. Simmer down. Thank you for getting it out of your system. That's what she said. Vinny. There, by the way, notice this, Patrick. There's an investigation for people that were booing her. And guess what's going to happen to them? They're going to investigate. They'll probably get fired. And if she could, if it's up to this, this, I, I hate her so much. They'll go to jail, right? Meanwhile, those illegal Venezuelans that beat the share of the New York City cops, they were arrested released and they're not following any they're not going after them at all they're in a they're in a migrant camp back in new york got doing god knows what it's like what what are we even talking about you we all know what she's doing we all know who she's working for we all know her agenda is to get rid of trump and just because a couple of cops that are pro trump because guess what the working man is for trump she's gonna go after them like hunt them down she's she's a disgusting human being adam well it's not a couple people it sounded like they're gonna have to go hunt down hundreds of fired fighters yeah okay no not cops firefighters so it wasn't a couple different uh, dispersing voices, couple couple of claps. It sounded like a resounding <laughs> uh, boo for her and a loud vocal Trump, Trump, Trump from the audience. So I don't see how you go after dozens, if not hundreds of firefighters, because at the end of the day, uh, a firefighter's job is to make sure the city don't burn down. Yeah. So uh, I don't think anything is going to happen from this. I think it's all rhetoric. But what You're happens, going Adam, she, after Adam, but, if, but if she finds out, let's say she gets 20 names, what is she doing? Nothing. No, but you know what I mean? She's looking for them to investigate. What are you going to say? Fire uh, them. She's like, this is uh, insubordination. That would be ridiculous and absurd and unfortunately you put, may be par for the course for this woman well and pu- pu- what about new york in itself it wouldn't I, it, Tom. it wouldn't surprise me uh first of all this is leticia james on message doing what she does there is nothing to be surprised about here there is everything to be outraged about the way she does it point one point two is right now the new york police department and the new york fire department are having trouble recruiting people so I don't see how you take people exercising exactly. freedom of choice who boo and make a point known when they're having trouble recruiting people. And I think what happened is she got pissed off, walked off stage and goes to the head of the fire department, says, I don't like this crap. I don't like that they booed me here. Why didn't you prepare this? This is wrong. We're just trying to put the first African-American uh, female chaplain, you know, uh, there. And since it's a chaplain, they held it in a house of worship because she's going to be ordained. What the hell, man? Why didn't you prep these people up? Go find out who booed and knock some heads. I think it's that simple. Yeah. Because that's her playbook. That doesn't surprise me. It outrages me, but it doesn't surprise me. And remember one thing about firefighters. Everybody loves firefighters. They're not polarizing like the police. Now, we saw the debacle that was defund the police and the anti-police movement, It was, which was ridiculous. And we've seen uh, how police departments have had to lower their standards to just recruit people. Yeah, do you like guns? Yeah. Here's a uniform. They're just fat, <laughs> sloppy, out of shape. Yeah. You know, the, the, the typical Dunkin' Donut eating, you know, Simpsons character of cops. That is now, unfortunately, some of the standard that they have to basically apply because a lot of people aren't trying to be cops and basically 
they, they can't recruit anymore. The last thing you need to do is lower your standards for firefighters yeah. that everybody loves. Yeah. Um, speaking of UFC, I remember a year ago we were at the UFC. There was a New York um, NYPD guy that came up to us. Oh, big fan, awesome whatever. Guy. Yeah. And he basically told us a quick story, sort of anecdotal. He's like, dude, it's, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible what's happening here. Uh, I'm trying to get the hell out of this thing. Yeah. And it, it, recruitment is at all time low. They can't sustain people. The last thing we need to do is start dwindling the numbers of the people that protect our communities, the police and the firefighters. So thank you guys for your service. Yep. And by the way, she is aligned, but she ain't best buddies with Eric Adams. Mm -hmm. And Eric Adams is going to have to deal with reelection. And yeah. Eric Adams is already in trouble. We all know he is in trouble. When that election comes up, everything in New York, that guy's in deep trouble. And now you want to parade a bunch of firefighters being fired and have a rally in the steps of City Hall? That is the last thing that Eric Adams wants or needs. So this is also indicative of the incredible dysfunction that is in front of of the New York voters as they look at these are the people we voted for and this is what we got. Well, guess what? Yeah. You guys have a choice. Next time at the ballot boy box, you guys have a choice. And remember, Eric Adams was a former NYPD police officer. Yeah. And the uh, fire thought. department union and the police department union are joined at the hip when they mm. negotiate with the city. By the way, this is, this is why Trump is saying that he may campaign in New York. He's convinced he could win New York because what happened is if you think about Lee Zeldin, right? It was a close call, guys. It Against wasn't Kathy like, Hochul for yeah, the gubernatorial race. No, don't right. get me wrong. Kathy won, but it was still a close. Can you pull up the uh, uh, Zeldin-Kathy Hochul race? I think she won by 8% or so. I don't know what the exact number, but it, it was a, it was a wrong, win. Pat. Huh? You're not wrong. Okay, 8%. There you go. So wow. 8%, but that's not wrong. That's not that's New York, yeah, what we're talking about. Double right? digits, yeah, exactly. Yeah. At least. So Trump thinks he's going to win New York. By the way, oh my if God. he wins New York, oh my. Chuck Schumer. Gosh, if guys. he wins New York, they're going to lose their shit if yeah. he wins New York. So probably go to what the, the numbers L were, word. Biden versus Trump in 2020. Yeah, so, they don't so, like the L word if uh, Trump wins. Well, lesbian? La landslide. Oh. No, they, no. they like that one. But they this like one, lesbian. this is it. So Sorry, what, what is it? Zoom in. 61 to 38. Yeah. That's New York, 2020. Yeah. Okay, but a lot has changed, obviously, in look four years. New York is... Look at that state. Yeah. Wow. New York, and by the way, go, look, at the, look at 2016 was by 27. Look at Long Island. So he won. He won by how many? Can we say 30, uh, by 30, uh, 22? So Correct. he won by 22. Yeah. In 2016, they won by 27. Where do you see In 20? 2012, they won by 32. Oh. And in 2008, so it went from 32 to 32 to 27 to 22. Wow. Okay, to now by eight, Lee Zeldin governor loses by eight. So Trump and his camp, if they win New York, let me tell you, that's going to be. Game changer. It's going to be wild. Yeah. So I think, I think when the fire department is calling out uh, Letitia James and they're fearless about it, the, the element of fearlessness going on in New York. When it comes down to things like this, settle down, settle down, get it out of your system, settle down. She sounds like an actress from a movie representing the establishment coming in to give a speech and is not happy that the people don't like her. Like her. Yeah. No, she it's kind a, of is. And, it, yeah. and, and that, mind you guys, Adam, you mentioned the, the, the fi it's the fire department and the police. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. And NYPD is the most revered. Just think 9-11 and what those guys are sacrificing. Mm -hmm. They all hate this attitude, bro. They are all pro-Trump. They can't out loud come and say it because that's their leadership, but they're, mm -hmm. trust me, they got Trump's back. This is what we're going to do. Anybody that places an order of, let's say, $50 or more, minimum one future looks bright hat, because I want a million people this year wearing this gear. There were so many people in the arena independently wearing the Future Looks Bright gear. Mm -hmm. And it's so confusing for people who are pessimistic when they see somebody say the Future Looks Bright. But this is what I'm going to do. Anybody that places an order of, uh, uh, you know, $50 or more, okay, between now and Thursday, but specifically anyone that places an order, every, for every $50 you place an order, you get one ticket in the drawing, and I'm going to get... I don't know. I'm going to get four tickets to the next UFC fight. Wow. Okay. I don't even know where the next UFC fight UFC is. UFC 300. And I'm going to give two people two UFC tickets. Rob, if you can give me those. Sam, just bring it to me. 
Just bring it to me. It's okay. And here's what we got. These are the things that we have right now for International Women's Day. We just got these pink. Uh, 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 oh, look at that. Yeah, pink future looks bright hats that are here. Sambil, are these on the site? So Rob has, let's make sure they're on the site. We got these two future looks uh, bright uh, women's hat, pink, to choose from. And then Love we got that. the new navy blue. Navy blue, if you're like a police officer, we got the new navy blue future looks bright. Let's make sure. And these are on the site. Rob, can you show these things being on the site? You place the order of the hats. Oh, that blue is sick. $50 or more. For every $50, we're going to do a drawing. And on Thursday, I'm giving away four mm -hmm. UFC tickets. That, that's the mm -hmm. one, right? The navy blue. And then, uh, Samuel, I don't know if I see the pink one on there. So if you can make sure that gets on there as well. But uh, that's what we're going to do. Make sure you place your order. Okay. It's uh, April 13th, Las Vegas. Perfect. UFC there you go. April 13th, month. Las Vegas. I'm going to give away four tickets. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.